When the leaves of summer turn red and gold And the football games bring a hint of the cold time to get away We'll pack the car with escape in mind We're getting gotcha. out classes, leaving books behind Time to get away Empty cottage sitting on the shore Tourists all left about a month before And we're gonna have a good time Gonna have a good time Yeah, we're gonna oh, have a good time oh, shit. We're going on now A ball break, a ball break. walking in and hand in the yeah, moonlight I mean, uh, stabbing and the JJ's. Mm. You're going to be a mutilator. Yeah. Every, nobody's getting laid. Yeah. Nobody. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah, awesome. So, Sad disaster. Nobody got laid. No one got no. fucking laid. So, you all well, need to turn this video off, go fuck someone, <laughs> and then come back and. Would it technically, uh, <laughs> though, the one girl did? Huh? Didn't technically the one girl did, though? Uh, the stabbed the JJ? Yeah. Well, let's not get it. Hold on. Let's not. Do yeah, that. we'll we'll yeah, come back to that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Work Stay tuned. That. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah, guys. So today we watched uh, the Mutilator, aka Fall Break. Oh, Fall Break. Okay. The Mutilator is a better name. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely a better name. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, I would agree. <laughs> Is this so, readable? So this is 1984. This is a Bloody Buddy Cooper, which you'd think if you had a badass name like that, then you probably would have done more than one movie. But he only done one movie. Oh, that And this intro. was it. That, that <laughs> intro to the movie was rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that shirt. That baggy, baggy shirt. <laughs> Nathan, why don't you tell us what this movie's about, man? Although the slasher film was in decline by the mid-1980s, there were still some grisly delights to be had. And they don't come much grislier than writer-director Buddy Cooper's sickening stalk and slash classic, The Mutilator. I agree. When Ed receives a message from his father asking him to go and lock up the family's beach condo for the winter, it seems like the perfect excuse for an alcohol-fueled few days away with his friends. But no, soon, no sooner are the teens on the island than they find themselves stalked by a figure with an axe and a hook. In an outboard motor. <laughs> Does it really say that? Yeah, in parentheses. Incredible. It kind of kills the flow because it says, figure with an axe, to grind. <laughs> nice. Originally released under the title Fall Break, the mutilator has earned a reputation amongst horror fans as one of the, mo one of the holy grails of 80s splatter mayhem due to its decidedly gruesome kill sequences. Courtesy of FX wizard Mark... Shawstrom from Videodrome Evil Dead 2. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Finally making its long-awaited bow in high definition, the mutilator has returned to terrorize a whole new generation of horror fans. And boy, did it ever. Oh, yes. yeah. It was, <laughs> it was something else. <laughs> this God movie is awesome. Uh, when, when I first seen it, I... I felt a good way to reel people into watching this one. It's just like it's like if you're watching Full House with a little bit of nudity and a lot of <laughs> gore. Uncle Jesse, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it feels very like goofy and innocent starting out, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. The the music. Uh, so at the beginning there, you know, we're doing the little little ditty. Um, yeah, they have this this theme song that is it's it's like fucking watching Family Matters or, or something, and. 
Yeah, I, I love it. I think this movie is extremely yeah. charming and and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, it's got all that great bad acting. There's so much bad acting, but it's the kind that you enjoy. Yes, yeah, yes, I mean, it's to it's to perfection. You've yeah. got the you know you you've got the big fucking buff guy who just oh my god, he's about a really stupid old. Yeah, 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 yeah. They try to play him off as a kid. <laughs> uh, a really stupid. A kid. really, really fucking stupid kid. Um, yeah, oh. you, you. you well, I was gonna say it seemed like it maybe like had a little bit of everybody in there, but no, he was really the only like tropey kind of character. He's just the dumb jock. Well, no, you had the goofball too. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, but he wasn't. Yeah, uh, yeah he wasn't stupid. He was. Just, I know you had, had a little bit of a crush jock. on him. I mean, yeah, you had stupid jock, <laughs> and then you had the goofball yeah. Yeah. character. Yeah. R.I.P. Uh, no, I, I I absolutely do. I, I think this movie's great. Um, I don't really know where to start with it because I do feel like it's a, kind of a hectic one to discuss. Let's, let's start at the beginning. Yeah. You just want to start off and kind of go go through? Yeah. Super straightforward. I mean, oh no, it is. I'm just saying. I feel like it's hectic as far as like it, it is a. Um, it's just a. It, I think it's just a mess because it, there's so much to talk about because the acting's terrible. There's a lot of like continuity issues and stuff like that. The plot is simple as can be. You've got, you know, a boy who your movie starts off really badass with a. a you see a mom decorating a, a birthday cake for dad. Son is trying to it's dad's birthday. Yeah, it's dad's birthday. So the kid is wanting to make a. Uh, do something for his dad so he, he wants to clean all of his guns he and makes he... a little sign tapes it up to the gun case <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Clean by me. Yeah. <laughs> he picks up the first gun wipes mm. it one time and then just oh. is like oh i guess i'll shoot it yeah no it's not like it no. even goes off he literally picks it up and shoots he it. looks down the barrel yeah. first yeah he does mm. do that like yeah. smart too. so but you think he's gonna you it. think he's gonna blow his own brains yeah. out i guess and then he, he looks down at it and he fucking shoots right through the wall and kills mom decorating the cake and this is where i mean right off the bat <laughs> you, you're like yeah. this movie is fucking weird because the dad comes in mm -hmm. oh yeah then the boy is like not mama. even crying or acting he's mama. just like hey mom mom yeah. and the dad walks in he doesn't say anything he looks at his wife <laughs> he slaps his kid across the face <laughs> yeah, 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 he yeah. <laughs> and then he goes and he drags his wife into the the room with the gun, the gun room. Props her up. He sticks the sign on her that says "Happy Birthday." I did, you know, I did all this. And for makes you. her drink it. And then he starts drinking, and oh, then he yeah. he what pour, would you do? he pours a beer for his wife. I mean, a beer. <laughs> he pours some whiskey in his wife's mouth, some Jack Daniels, and then you know we we yeah. the boy is like he's peering around the corner, looking in on it, and. We, and then, then we, we fast forward, and that is the, our kind of our main character. That boy kind of grown up to you know late teens, yeah, kind of age. Surprisingly normal, uh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I, I love, I love too, like how I think there's so many times in this where, so they're sitting at a bar, him and his friends, and they're about to go on fall break. They're discussing what are they going to do. Phone call comes in for the son at the bar, and it's his dad. And he's talking about like how it's like almost like this huge burden that his dad's calling him to ask him for his help to clean up uh, or do like some maintenance and stuff on a con on a beach condo that they have. Yeah. And I just think it's really funny when you take it in context. Like you're like, man, what's dad making me do? It's like you fucking killed his wife. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you have to you're, do like, what, do you, what do you mean? You like, get me, dad. <laughs> yeah, like you shot his fucking wife. <laughs> I think you can go pour some fucking Drano yeah. into the sink. Yeah, and they're like, uh, the, they're at the very beginning. They're just like, oh, we have nothing to do. Nothing. Mm -hmm. He's like, come to my beach condo. <laughs> He's like, oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Uh. So I wondered, did he invite him over to kill him originally? Or did he like get a drunken stupor and then decide, I'm going to kill my son. Today. Oh, I think he I most certainly him. came to or he invited him to kill him. Yeah, yeah. I think he's so. Oh, okay. I mean, he was. He had the constant dreams of just murder. Right. Yes. Child. <laughs> I just knew that, like, apparently, because even that one, not to go too far forward, but that one, I guess, police cop or whatever he was, was like, yeah, I saw some guys over here, but. Or mm -hmm. something, of, something of the mm -hmm. sort. And then they left, but I don't know. I just, yeah. He got possessed by that, that Mayan. I had wondered if that mask. was going to take a, you know, yeah. a part in this, but no, he's just. Yeah, no, he did. He just wanted, yeah, yeah. He had enough of life. He just wanted revenge. His life would have turned out so much better had, you know, his son not I mean, fucking killed his wife. 
I mean, he's got a beach condo. Yeah. And he drinks all that the he time. That he drinks it fucking heavily. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. kills his friends and then, like, frames the pictures <laughs> yeah. of it. <laughs> Ran over him with a boat. Yeah. Well, would you look at all this shit? <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. That guy... I, I just think he was a fucking delight. But yeah, so so all his buddies decide we're going to go help him. We're going to go take care of these things because it's A, a way for them to help their friend, and B, just a way for them to party and get fucked up, you know, at the beach condo. Um, So, of course, mayhem ensues when they're all there. And it doesn't try to hide anything. You know, obviously we know that, you know, the dad's um, agenda or whatever, but like... I do think it was really funny when it would just show him like sleeping in the garage or, or the basement or whatever the hell it was where he was. It's just like basically all we see from the dad is him carrying weapons or sleeping in this fucking basement and dreaming about killing his son. It's hysterical. It's just I just like, wonder why did he wait that long? He, he was like a that sleeping That is a good bear. question, actually. <laughs> I don't know. This is it. Yeah, it's, he, it's all he, was, he was sleeping and then they they woke the bear up. Yeah, but he called his son. To, I mean, I he was you're in right. a he was in a drunken stupor. Like you that's seen his, how many bottles? I guess bottles. I'm confused. Like, did he plan it or like was it just? It like, was oh, subconscious. It was it was subconsciously <laughs> planned, and he ended up just going through with it because he was still in a crazy amount of drunk. I guess. So you think this is more of a story about alcohol addiction? Yeah, I mean, he became an alcoholic because his. He's like, he's I don't like, know. That no, motherfucker already, seemed prepared. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he seemed prepared. He, when, when, his, when he came into her dead, he's like, I'm pushing her to this couch. I've got a globe full of fucking whiskey yeah. right beside it. Like, he, he knew what. He didn't say anything. He just immediately started. <laughs> I mean, he not said one word. He backhanded his son. He hit his kid and started. Threw him <laughs> into the other room. Pointed a I, gun at him. Yeah. I'm about to go I yeah. think he planned this. I, I think this yeah. was premeditated. I mean, he had, a, he had his axe and everything ready because it was taken off the wall he had it he was hiding in the side room yeah. in the garage uh i i think he planned it it could have been planned a little better i guess if like if you know if we had a different movie basically you know if, if what if you know the dad would have planned to like oh he's he's married now you know or something Ooh, like that and he wants yeah. to like kill his wife it is kind of a strange thing see too. how it feels son <laughs> yeah, yeah well no you guys bring up a good point because why why did he wait so long it, you know and, and then and, like slaughter all his friends and then with some random cop who wouldn't really i mean he was just looking around the house like okay like i think he's fixing to leave and then it's like nope and just, yeah <laughs> just a two by four through his throat yeah i feel like that, that was a missed opportunity there could have been a, <laughs> a little bit of a better story here but god damn it i love the one we got oh uh, yeah uh, he stabbed the cop. It looked like a machete to oh, me. A machete. A machete. Uh, I couldn't tell if it was cheap. a plank of wood or a oh, machete. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was like a plank of freaking... wood first, and then yeah, he cut it his too head thin. off. It was like a thin piece of metal uh, to see, me. See, I thought he ripped off a piece of the, the home uh, steps yeah. he was walking on. Just... <laughs> anyway, he stabbed him in the face with something, and then he chopped his head off. Yeah. The blood in this. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you? No. Go ahead. Oh, okay, I was gonna say I do. For for all the campy acting and 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 stuff like that and you know like I said the continuity errors, the the kills, I feel like they are really properly sprinkled out. It takes a while to get to your first one, but then when you do, you know it, it's just a few minutes in between each one. I think it's entertaining, but the kills themselves are extremely extremely well done. I think. I mean they oh, are they are bloody man. as shit. It like... ramps up really well. Ramps. Jesus. Up. Yeah. Yeah. He does. Yeah. Yeah. The worst. Ugh. Yeah, so so I guess now we can start talking about some of that. So he's he's been putting bodies uh in the garage in this one room. He's got these hooks. Oh, not even hooks. Like, They're just like spikes. Like yeah, spikes. Yeah, they got yeah. spikes and stuff. And I guess all this head. is a, Yeah, I guess it's all, all supposed to make sense because he you, you, we know now that he's a fisherman and a hunter because of all this stuff on his wall. So it kind of makes sense for him to have all this shit laying around. But he takes the bodies and he just shoves them up on these spikes once he kills them. Um that force and that thud. Ugh. Yeah. Rough. Yeah. So the first kill was the lady and the chlorine, right? Or no. the other couple. No? No. It was the... Uh... Yeah, no. No, it was the lady drew, with the he chlorine. He drowned the girl. The yeah. yeah. He drowned the girl, and then it was the old man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where'd everybody go? Oh, my hey, God. The, the repetition of that fucking line. Got him with the, uh, the outboard motor from the garage yeah he, yeah. he even sliced, died stupid sliced his whole front up with that it was, was awesome. that part dub it looked I like it was i feel dub. like everybody else like 
it was a quick like oh they're dead well some of them and him mm. like I don't know like, I, not that I know how someone would suffer as far as pain wise but I feel like you'd be gone tell you. the <laughs> second after like it like, goes inside of him he's just like <laughs> oh it's great oh, it's so five minutes. it's so overacted and so just long and drawn out I, I loved it I do you know you pointed out though like he's getting his fucking hand chopped up and shit I mean it's it's cool again because you think at first it, it kind of cuts to it and you don't really see much going on and then it switches the view to where you're looking at the dad killing him and this one a bunch of blood splattering when it does switch back though it starts to get pretty graphic it shows like all the gashes in him and like you said his hand fucking being torn apart it's pretty cool I like that one I think that was actually probably the most brutal kill aside from the vagina kill. I was about to say. Yeah. I to say. I don't know. Sorry, go ahead. No, I I mean, what do we had? We had the one guy, the funny guy, gets stabbed with like yeah, the, right the throat. like the trident oh, like yeah. mm-hmm. spikes into the here and he nailed and him to the door. He was still that. screaming. Yeah, that's what that's what made it so sad for me is like he still suffered. Yeah, yeah. It was a pitchfork, right? Wasn't that yeah. what he used? Was I think that was, was like <laughs> I think it was like something to stab fit. It was like a trident. Yeah, it's a trident. He's like, a fisherman. Yeah. Like he's, I mean, this guy like doesn't have a battle axe. He stabbed him. Believe it. He stabbed him to the throat with the, with the um, what should we call it first? Because it pins him up against the door. Then he yeah. took that big spike thing. Yeah. So. Well, the spike was for later. Yeah. Yeah. He just he skewers him to the door. Uh, what was the other one? So we had well the girl in the pool she was drowned. just drowned. simply drowned and Dylan you found out looking up there that what they initially wanted to use the spear gun or something under there or yeah they wanted to yeah spear gun <clears throat> but like the effects wouldn't work apparently with the water and I don't I, yeah I didn't go into much detail just said it wouldn't work let's go ahead and and, and <laughs> talk about this for just a second <laughs> kind of a side tangent for the movie itself but there was when we were looking that shit up outside. Some of the stuff people bring up on these sites so as far as, like, stupid. busting shit is oh, so yeah. retarded. They were literally talking about how the the dad, like, he's cut in half and he's he's still alive. He's clearly buried in the sand. It's like, what the fuck else yeah. are they supposed to do? Like, these are supposed to be little things that people are reading like, oh, my God, that's how they did it. So he wasn't cut in half. <laughs> like, like, yeah. <laughs> I figured it out. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and there was what, was what was the other one? This is the one I thought that was the most funny. Oh, the, about the girl in the swimming pool. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, you, yeah. So basically, yeah, they said uh, as far as continuity error in the single shot, you can see her boobs at one point, but then you can't see him again. <laughs> well, it's like the water is moving or something. We're just joking about how like it's just one person's like. Uh, Mr. Cooper, I would like to take this. I, I got this. I want. I want to investigate this. <laughs> I mean, it's a shame, but it's not. Really yeah, yeah. Right. Just, you know, there was. You know, it, we know little, that. We're, we're, there's a little bit of tits in there. You know, a little bit. Yeah. I I gotta say, we we since we're talking about kills, we've seen a lot of gory movies at this point, and it is hard to get shocked at something. This one does it. Oh, definitely. This one has a what the fuck moment. Ooh. And if you really want to watch this movie, I, I tell you to go away now. Like, go and watch this movie. Yeah. But there's. He throws one of the girls up on the table. You're like, oh, what is he going to He's going to chop her head off with the axe. No, no, no. He picks up a hook, shoves it into her vagina, mm-hmm. and then pulls it, has it come out her her stomach. Mm hmm. And I yanks out more, yeah. right? And then he's like pulling up, and her pants are coming off, and you can just see like all this blood and shit coming up as he's like yanking on it. Oh, that was brutal! It it's was awesome. really brutal. It was super awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, like one thing with with the kills in general with this one that I think do, aside from them being, actually, I think this is a better way to put it. With with the kind of tone that this movie has, minus the very beginning, you know, because that that beginning scene is is very much, in my opinion, at least, very much like holy shit, that's hardcore as fuck and a little bit weird. But then you know we go into this like kind of like just friend comedy sort of weird bullshit. So I think it makes those kills like even more effective, especially when they do come out like really swinging with a shit ton of blood and stuff. You don't, you don't, you don't watch a movie like this or have it start off and then expect to see a fucking vagina hook kill scene. <laughs> you know, like it's, it's incredible. I think it's, 
I think it's brilliant. Whether that was Buddy Cooper or, or whoever the fuck was coming up with those ideas on how to kill people, I think it was absolutely just the greatest decision to have it be like, oh, is this they kind of this goofy top. little fun movie? Yeah. And we're just going to throw in a bunch of blood and guts. It's awesome. And then that final kill where he's like, I'm still alive for the third time. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he, yeah. he cuts the cop's leg off. And he's like, ha, ha, and it was like, awesome. <laughs> God, I loved it. One for the road. This one really is. I I feel like I kind of throw this term around a lot of times, and and maybe sometimes it's appropriate, sometimes it's not. But I I think this one really deserves the title of like this is a so bad it's good movie. Like I think it, I, you know, not with the blood and guts are are perfect on their own, but I'm talking like you mix that with the acting and and everything else. It's like holy shit, this is a dumpster fire, but it's so perfect. I, yeah, I mean, a lot of the acting is bad, but mm-hmm. the the kill the kill stuff and the creepiness and I thought the dad was a great villain. I mean, he just has a good just he looks mean, you know. Like, oh yeah. It, that all that was good. So yeah, the acting was bad, but mm-hmm. all that other shit was just good. It's like a, I mean, like a, it was just yeah. good, gory, scary horror, just shocking kind of brutal stuff. And I like the I like the the choice for the dad not to talk. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I just he laughed a lot, and that just made it more. Yeah, he's a crazy grizzled. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I just feel like if it would have had him, you, you know. I feel like if he would have tried to give some sort of dramatic speech or something like that about like why he wants his son dead or something, number one, it would have been, been unnecessary. Yeah, number two, yeah, yeah would it really would have been lame. Um, so I like that decision. Um, yeah. So Patrick, I know you're sitting there quietly. You're just waiting to pounce. Yeah. Let's go ahead and talk about your issues. The fucking car. Yeah. Fucking hated that that car with its. What about the car? The soft top moves so slow. <laughs> well, that was wor- the slowest thing in that movie. Don't worry, Patrick. Three uh, days after this film was over, it it wrecked. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's that's really my only issue with this movie, it. to be honest. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I really enjoy the movie. Just to talk about how slow Monopoly was. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. There I, is I, a... would, I would like more <laughs> of a backstory to the dad, though. I think we got it. Yeah, he no, was on. He was on a hunting trip. And crazy. No, just a hunting trip. But I, I think there was something mystical going on. <laughs> yeah. Why bring up the fucking mask? Yeah, I agree. And then not bring it up again. Because they do mention, like, I think he stole it. So yeah. it's like some like ancient yeah. curse or. Yeah. Do you think it's possible he was just gay for his son? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. He's salty. Yeah, so the, he's the, old salty dog and old semen. If you, he's gay for his son. If you notice, the nose was uh, the exact size of a child's penis. Oh, we'll give you an opportunity to rework. <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> exact measurement. Uh, I'm just grasping at straws. Here, oh, God. Uh, yeah, let's go to. <laughs> Straws, yeah, you're grasping at straws. Yeah. That was awesome. I do like, uh, um, I do. I know this is really something so minute to to bring up, but we all got a kick out of it, you know. When they, everyone's just trying to get laid, you know. And, and the 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 one dude, I can't, I can't, sorry, I can't remember the character's name, but the one that we all found to be funny but equally annoying. Yeah. Um. He. Uh, his girlfriend, like, this dude is just trying to fuck anything. He's got a girlfriend. He's trying to fuck everybody else's girlfriends. <laughs> and she's, like, telling him at this one point, like, for the, you know, millionth time, basically, we got to go find our friends who have been out on the beach, yeah. you know, lost or whatever. We already know they're dead. But um, Wait, what? It goes into, <laughs> it goes into like, one of those sped up oh, yeah. montages, you yeah. know, where he's, like, she's, like, you know, and you go find them and come back and there will be something waiting for you. And he's like, you know, oh, like, and we never got to see those either. It's we yeah. never see. He drank that fucking backwash beer. Yeah. Fucking gross. Who does that? Did you honestly never do that as a as a younger guy? No. I fuck. I'm 35 years old and I still do that shit. No, I. But not. I definitely did it a lot when I was a kid. No, really, never. 
I used to go to Hooters with my friends before I was 21, and I would walk around to people's tables when they they would walk up to go to the bathroom or something, and I would fucking steal their beer. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh. I'm clean, though. <laughs> That's his Tinder bio, by the way. I'm clean. I'm clean. I'm clean. <laughs> Clean bitch. Clean bitch. I'm, I'm a dirty bitch. I'm a, a dirty fucking dirty bitch. I drink all your beers. I don't give yeah. a fuck. Well, fuck me. Okay. Uh, um. Let's do <laughs> scores. Let's go to scores. Let's do scores. Okay. I think uh, I'll, since I'll, no one else did in this movie, to do. Yeah. yeah. Nobody <laughs> scored in this movie. We'll give ours. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'll just go ahead and I'll give this a five buckets popcorn. I love this movie. And I mean, what really sells it. All the kills amp up, and that hook kill is just fantastic. It's squeamish. It's gross. And then also the end, you know, you got the final little fight with the dad, and he he keeps coming back in, in awesome ways. Mm-hmm. He gets stabbed in the chest. The two of them are trying to get away. He, he, he gets out, and he crawls up on top of the car, and he, he swings the axe down. She backs up, smashes him in the wall, his fucking bottom half falls away is he's just a torso with guts he's laying on the ground you think he's dead the cop comes up and he fucking his torso swings an axe and cuts the fucking cop's legs off it's amazing it's so cool i i i loved it it was a great movie and and uh yeah five. Oh, is she number three mm-hmm. how did this dude have all this mu- like all this strength but when the woman fought him he wasn't that strong against her yeah, he does have super strength. And, and to be honest, and I'm not trying to say this yeah. to, say, to sound condescending, because yeah. a lot of people ask questions like that, but there yeah. is a point where you just have to realize, like, you just have to let go, it's man. a fucking movie. Just let go, dude. Yeah. You know, I mean, and like I said, I'm not saying that, like, yeah. that's not a good point to yeah. bring up. It's a completely valid point to bring up. It's like one minute he's, like, fucking Iron Man, yeah, and the next like, minute he's, he's, you know. <laughs> like, picking up people by their throats yeah. and shit, and then... It's a All of a sudden they, he gets they, stabbed, and he's like, uh. That's right. kind of the way they are in these movies, though. I mean, mm-hmm. they have, they almost have superhuman strength, even though they're just regular people. Like fucking Mike Myers became supernatural at some point, right? Did he yeah. sort of take that kind of thing on? I, I mean, it's just it's just evil, you know what it's, I mean? Yeah, like, it's like yeah. the yeah. power of evil, <clears throat> and, and and I think. It, when I saw that scene, like the girl stabs him in the chest, I think he was just like, I don't fucking care. Yeah. <laughs> he was it's just like, he was like laughing every time he got hit yeah, by Yeah, he's just yeah. like coming at her. He doesn't even care. I mean, you get stabbed in the heart. I mean, you're probably going to die. But yeah. he still kept coming back and coming back, you know? So mm-hmm. uh, I think that was just him. Just He was just fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't care. I, right. I guess I'll go next if that's okay. Um, yeah, I okay, so I'm going to kind of lead into my my score with what you were just saying yeah. there. It, it not not an attack on you or anyone else, just God. just like no, no, I really do mean it because <laughs> but you I feel like you have to be a certain type of person or at least spend enough time familiarizing yourself mm-hmm. with these types of movies to be able to enjoy them for what they are. Mm-hmm. If you're like if you've only watched like hereditary or something like that, these more modern, like, you know, we try to be as believable as possible kind of movies. And you're going to watch this. And you're going to be like, well, wow, this is stupid. Um, I just happen to, I love these types of movies. I think they're goofy and I think they're a lot of fun and you do find so much creativeness and like the blood and the guts and the practical effects. And even the bad acting in itself is a charm. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, I just think they're a ton of fucking fun. And a lot of times, aside from like, um, like a lot of like animated movies and stuff. I feel like it is like the real, the best way to just truly escape to just like, you know, get lost in a fucking movie. Cause there's so much stuff to keep your attention anyway. So I'll, I'll quit blabbing on like that, but I, I, I do. I think this one is gold. Uh, I fucking love it. I definitely give it a five. Um, I could not recommend this one higher. I feel like if you are not really familiar with this stuff, but maybe perhaps we've interested you in it, I think this is a very good starting <laughs> point for for a good slasher and a, and a kind of a hokey fun time. So, yeah, I give this one the highest praise. Patrick? I'm giving this one a five. I did enjoy this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I had my qualms with it, but... Would it be qualms? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even then, like, I enjoy terribly. 
I wouldn't say this movie was terribly done, but the bad acting in it is hilarious. Yeah. Kill scenes are awesome. They take you back. You feel the pain. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. You, you felt the vagina kill. Even if you're a dude, you felt it up in there. Just, Your man, just going in it and just coming out and stretching yeah, around. Yeah, I came out of my seat yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we all did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just I comes came, out of nowhere. I came in my seat a little bit. <laughs> I actually looked I just, over the second the hooks are coming from your crotch to you, and I just he's no, you go. Yeah, we were like, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But yeah, definitely recommend seeing this being like one of your first uh, slasher. I, I don't know if I would consider it a B-movie. Because I don't think it's like that bad. It is a great film, though. It's on Prime, too, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Get you some I, of that. If you've only seen Scream, you know, if you've only seen things like that, you th- this is a good one to go with. Like, here's a... Here's something... This is legit slasher kind of... Yeah. I agree. I, I think... I, did you like Scream? I love Scream. Oh, I'm not saying it's bad. I, I yeah, just yeah, mean like yeah. this is where it all started. I feel like this. Yeah, I, I just feel like that's so main. That's like a very mainstream. Everybody has seen at least one sure, of those movies. Sure. If you want to branch out, this is a good one to do. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, uh, I also <laughs> I also give it a five out of five. I mean, it's classic slasher setting. Uh, I love yeah the goofy acting. I love the soundtrack. Um, yeah, good good nod on that. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it goes from like happy weird theme to like just me. Yeah. Like and jaw then, knock off, yeah. jaws knock off music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the kills are crazy gruesome. Uh, yeah, I love how the dad could like was basically immortal for for a second there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, solid. Buddy Cooper, man. It amazed me, like, he only did this. Like, yeah, well, give us something more. else. Why? Why did you only do this? Bloody Buddy at, Cooper, Lightning man. Get at, us. Get, yeah. at us. Get back in that oversized black button-up t-shirt. Get back into the bottle where you clearly were during that interview you know and make something yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do, do a prequel to this. What was Dad doing during that time? Spring break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it'll, be, it'll be him killing that, a friend that he uh, yeah. framed a picture of. <laughs> It's just him with a bunch of hookers <laughs> and his friend, just so much blow. He's yeah, hooking, yeah. He's yeah. hooking yeah. hookers. Yeah, I just want to know, like, who? Well, a, like, who is still friends with him? Because they, they, they clearly came back and, like, at least from what that one beach cop said, yeah, there were some folks there the other night. But like, I would love to know what happened after, like, wife's dead. He clearly hates his son. Like, what <laughs> happened? Like you said, like, what yeah. happened over those years? Yeah, that he went unchecked. <laughs> He just drank, fished, and hunted. I mean, yeah. his kid and did just, good, went to college. He just brooded about it. Stole, alone like, magic masks for a yeah. decade. <laughs> yeah. And it, one day, he said, I've had enough. I'm going to kill my son and all his friends. Yeah. <laughs> so I had enough. I feel like this, maybe this should have ended with, like, the son just, like, killing himself, and it sucks all the joy away from the dad, you know? It's like, well, Only I get to kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you took that away from me too like my wife <laughs> it's never enough with you yeah that's it yeah, yeah. it's a movie yeah. yeah buddy go watch it yeah 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 oh, yeah. mutilator oh yeah slashing and some mutilator titties yeah hooks in some, vagina oh, yeah mutilator <laughs> hooks in vagina <laughs> Oh, <laughs> like a gospel song. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah.